Guys, I was literally gonna pop on and say, no vlog today. I'm doing chores, I'm doing housework. This is very uninteresting. I literally cannot even right now think of a way to make this interesting. And so I was getting ready to take a load of recycling to the local landfill here where they have all these recycling bins. I load up the car, I go to start the car, doesn't start. Check battery light, check engine light, chugs a little bit, does not start. So today just got a little bit more interesting because I'm actually hitting the road tomorrow, morning. I'm getting back on the road again, guys, and my car is not starting. So this is gonna be risky business. So when I discovered the car wouldn't start, I just kind of was like, what the heck? It's like making kind of like a chugging sound, but it's not actually starting. It just kind of poops out. The check battery light comes on, the check engine light comes on. So I did what I usually do when I'm having some kind of car quandary. I called my buddy Brian. Brian is a software guy. He's a programmer, something, something with computers. Anyways, he does his own car maintenance. The guy is a legend. He literally does everything with cars. He's kind of my go-to encyclopedia for car stuff. So anyways, I called him and he was like rock solid advice. So we're following Brian's direction today. Thank you, Brian. Massive shout out for all your help. Total killer. So first things first, I need to get a jump. I'm by myself, so I'm gonna have to call someone to come and do it. Towing company probably. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So we're back on the road. The dude came super fast, which is amazing. You know, we like that. And gave me a boost. Looks like it's the battery. I don't know if it's the battery, if it's like a one-time thing, maybe because it was really cold this morning, or if the battery itself is going. It's hard to say. So I'm on my way to go and pick up a multimeter, which I don't have to test my battery out and see kind of where, where we're at with that. This is really highlighting to me that I need to know more about car maintenance. If this were a bike, like a bicycle, I'd be able to do a whole lot more. But it's not, and I'm kind of bad when it comes to this stuff. Really need to be better. I also don't have a CAA membership, which I should definitely have. I don't know why we don't have that. We're very silly. I got this car, it's a Toyota 4Runner 2017. I got it with less than 50 kilometers on it, and I now at this moment have 225,340 kilometers on it. And it just goes to show you what a good vehicle this is and how reliable these things are. The only thing I've ever had to do on it is change something like uh, some kind of steering coupler, some kind of thing there, which was like nothing. I had a loose heat shield once. Like these are not big issues at all. Like this thing has been amazing. I'm so attached to it. Uh, it's, I'm so sentimental. She's never failed me. And so, yeah, I need to know more about her and how she works. Time to go and get the multimeter, uh, which sounds like something out of Marvel, like a uh, kind of device for activating the multiverse. Anyways, I'm gonna go pick that up and then see if I need a new battery. So guys, this is the first time I'm turning off the car since I got boosted. I'm hoping that it doesn't cause any issues. Hopefully it turns back on, so let's see. Ready? <laughs> Sign. Trusty neighborhood Canadian tire. Let's do it. There it is. Multimeter. Okay, let's go. Okay, so got the multimeter. Never used one. I don't know how to use it. I'm gonna YouTube now how to use a multimeter. Let's do it. It seems to require some tools. Not ideal. Damn it. We gotta go back home. So we're taking this mission on the road. I don't know how to use a multimeter, but I need some tools to open it up to put the battery in. Steps after steps after steps. At least this town is like pretty small. But yeah. What I'm hoping here, and like really probably what is best case scenario, is that the battery is fine i.e. holds a, a solid voltage, and the problem is just that the battery was just cold, which, I mean, could very well be the case. Um, the bad news bear, of course, would be if the battery is not holding a voltage, then we need a new battery. Now, I have not gotten a like battery indicator light on this thing, so I don't know if that means a healthy battery. But in any case, we're gonna check. We got a multimeter, we're gonna go check, see what the battery's like. If it's not good, we're gonna get a new battery. So that's it, step by step, I'm learning. You probably already know all this. You're probably like, how does he not know all this? Good questions, very good questions, okay.
Now we just need to figure out how exactly does this thing work. Time to turn to my trusty friend, YouTube. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm not the only one who's searched this. This guy, Chris Vick, legend. Thanks, buddy. So actually, I think this was all just the cold weather. Had to call for that boost, got a boost, wasn't the alternator, was able to drive around afterwards, no problem. It started up again after that, no problems, uh, repeatedly. Got that multimeter, tested out the, the, the battery, it holds a good normal charge. It dips down a little bit on startup, but I guess that's normal as long as it doesn't go below 9.6. If you know any better, reach out. I learned so much today. I learned a ton about cars. This is the best. Oh, look at this. So this is the NOCO Boost Plus. Yep, so the charger's here. Yeah. This one is for the port. Yeah. Plug it in. Can you just show me how, so this, oh, this, okay. uh, so that is a single plug? Yes. Plugs in there? Yes, and, not, and everything is out. Yeah, and then so this plugs into there. Yeah. And then obviously plus red negative. Red to red, and yeah. black to black. And then you turn it on. Yes, and uh, let's see. And is this the flux capacitor? I have no idea what that is. Well, it's for time travel. Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, it's already here. Oh, geez, I gotta read that book, Roadside? No, just, just, just this. Just that part? Yeah. Okay, you gotta highlight it, yeah. that's good. 